Welcome to MA Study Expert channel. Today we will discuss on What is Measurement, Assessment and Evaluation? We try to explain of following content. Definition of Measurement, Assessment and Evaluation Measurement process involves four steps. Considerations when taking measurements Objective of measurements Steps involved in making an evaluation The purposes of evaluation Types of evaluation What is measurement? According to Norman E. Ground, Measurement is the process of obtaining a numerical description of the degree to which an individual possesses a particular characteristic. According to Abel and Frisbee, measurement is the process of assigning numbers to individuals or their characteristics according to specified rules. What is assessment? According to Murray Print, assessment involves the interpretation of measurement data. It makes sense of the data collected on student performance. According to Dictionary of Education, Assessment is the process whereby one attempts to measure the quality and quantity of learning and teaching using various assessment techniques. What is Evaluation? A systematic process of determining what the actual outcomes are but it also involves judgment of desirability of whatever outcomes are demonstrated. Travers. The process of delineating, obtaining and providing useful information for judging decision alternatives, Stufflebeam. What is test? Test is an instrument or activity and systematic procedure for measuring a sample of behavior. How well does the individual perform? Measurement process involves four steps. 1. Define the characteristics that you want to measure. 2. Select the appropriate test. This may also mean to select the appropriate testing instrument. 3. Administer the test. If an instrument is involved in the testing, this also means to use the instrument correctly. 4. Collect and record the measurement from the test. Considerations when taking measurements 1. Dot remember that you are measuring a characteristic of the person, you are not measuring the person themselves. Thus, make no judgments about the person. 2. Dot make no comical remarks regarding the collected data. 3. Dot have a high ethical standards when collecting the data. 4. Dot be professional. Types of measurements Objective measurements An objective measurement is one that cannot be interpreted differently because of numerical values. Subjective measurements a subjective measurement is one that can possibly be interpreted differently. The Purposes of Evaluation According to Ogunye, To determine the relative effectiveness of the program in terms of students' behavioral output. To make reliable decisions about educational planning. To identify students' growth or lack of growth in acquiring desirable knowledge, skills, attitudes and societal values. To help teachers determine the effectiveness of their teaching techniques and learning materials. Types of Evaluation Formative Evaluation Summative Evaluation Steps involved in making an evaluation Define the objective or the purpose of the test Measure the performance or administer the test Find or develop a standard Compare a person's performance on the test to a standard 
make the evaluation then discuss and distribute the results in the most appropriate manner. Advantages of Formative Evaluation Formative evaluation enables the teacher to draw more reliable inference about his students than an external assessor, although he may not be as objective as the latter. Identify the levels of cognitive process of his students. Choose the most suitable teaching techniques and materials. Determine the feasibility of a program within the classroom setting. Determine areas needing modifications or improvement in the teaching learning process and Determine to a great extent the outcome of summative evaluation. Ogunni Advantages of summative evaluation 1. Its existence Learners will need to be aware of it from the start, provides motivation and helps create an appropriate learning environment. Two positive results give the trainees a boost in confidence and can act as a springboard into subsequent behavior change back in the workplace. Three, trainers can identify those areas where results are consistently lower and can then consider alternative delivery methods helping to develop the training for future events. 4. The results provide a measurable way of determining the success of the training program directly comparable from Sony intake to the next. Thanks for watching.